Welcome on ThinsBot online education course. If you want to be a ThinsBot ninja, subscribe this channel and get first-hand knowledge about the platform. What is multi-tenancy? This literally means that single platform instance may run multiple application instances simultaneously. Each of the application instances is logically isolated from others and is called a separate tenant. All tenant data, like users, devices, assets and their telemetry are not available to other tenants. Each tenant account is created by system administrator. Community Edition supports three levels of users. System administrator, who creates tenant entities and their administrator users. Tenant administrators, users who are allowed to do all kinds of operations with all their entities and customers who are created by tenants and have limited permissions. They are able to access and control devices that are assigned to them by tenant administrator. In accordance to multi-tenancy and security model ThingsBot Community Edition, one system may have numerous tenants who use ThingsBot server for their particular needs. In practice, this may refer to this use case for example. As IoT solution developer, you have system administrator's account. Also, you have two companies, let's say building management enterprises, that distribute your IoT solution to their clients. For each company, you create a tenant account. These companies manage their own entities. More about supported entities you may discover in the next lesson. Once you create a tenant, you may specify various parameters like description, address and primary email. The only required field is a title. Now, in order to manipulate tenant data, you need to create tenant administrator. The only required field is an email, but you can optionally populate the first and last name. Now, the interesting part is an activation method. If you are using properly configured environment with the SMTP or Simply Mail server configured, you can send activation email. This will push the email to new tenant administrator with login info. It is the most secure way, but requires SMTP server setup. This time we'll use much simpler way and we'll just copy this activation link. This allows activate tenant with some dummy password or copy the activation link and send it to tenant via messenger or email. Very good, you've made the first step towards ThingsBoard level up. See you in our next class.